performance ladies and gentlemen put your hands together for dr moore dr moore i'm absolutely spellbound by that performance and we will be asking you to perform again because i've seen everyone in the audience love every second of it but before that what's the message that you want to convey to the people out here and beyond through your performance today i that one should always try to find those weird quirky passions that we have and when i started dancing with the robot i got so much push back they're like oh that's weird like why are you dancing with a robot and i think that there's so much power in keeping one's like i call it submarine mode and one when one finds a passion to just explore it no matter what people say and you never know where it takes you and who who kind of cares you know it's like you're doing something that you love and you know earlier you've also spoken about the harmony between science and art but it's difficult really to have people break stereotypes like you just spoke of and do what they really want to do follow passions so to the women out there today what's your message i would say it's take take whatever time you need i think there's a lot of pressure to show brilliance overnight and often and so like a lot of people get dissuaded they're like oh like overnight i wasn't perfect or amazing and so especially for women i think it's like do it in your own time in your own way very true yeah and take your time with it take your time you know we talk about artificial intelligence we're going to have so many experts here today and tomorrow dr moore talking about it but when does that kind of impede on human creativity when is enough being enough with artificial intelligence when it comes to human creativity i would say we can't become complacent and it's amazing what it can do but i think we're entering a future where previously it was survival of the fittest and now it's going to be survival of the most creative like if one isn't stimulating one's brain and thinking about how to use ai and robots and technology in a creative way we will be replaced because robots and ai can do all of the boring routine jobs right i also want to ask you you know you have that light in your hand yes while dancing and the robot of course has yes. that light there is as well it kind of represented to me the in sync you know the the kind of camaraderie that you have yeah. with the robot but it also talks about uh like we just mentioned the balance you need to maintain so when is it about the human emotion 
and when is it about it just being science to you? Well, for me, it's always human emotion. Even the science, the reason I am so passionate about quantum physics is because emotionally it excites me. It's so bizarre and curious and mysterious. And I'm fascinated every single day that I learn more about it. And so for me, I'm very drawn from an emotional place. I mean, of course, we need to be rational and methodical, and that has helped me in my dancing, being an experimentalist and being like, where should the center of mass be? Let's try different positions of a turn. And do so, you do that while you're researching? Do you, do you go ahead with your steps while you're researching, thinking oh about gosh, ballet? Oh gosh, they're so used to me. I've, <laughs> I, I sit on a ball, I'm, I study in the splits, I fall asleep in the splits, I do my feet exercises and abs. Every, yes, my lab mates are very used to me, just always moving. But there's another aspect, Dr. Moore, that I want to introduce you to. She's not happy just dancing on Earth, ladies and gentlemen. She's now aiming for space, if I'm not mistaken. Tell us more about that. So I got to be part of this incredible program called Astronauts, Do You Have What It Takes at, on BBC. And that was so phenomenal because one, it opened my eyes to a possibility where you could combine the physical aspect and the mental aspect of one, my passions into one job. I was like, whoa, this is great. But also it, in, it made me think about questions of what does it look like in the future? What does dance look like in the future? What does the world look like in the future? And that's kind of led me to the robots. Um, and then I was one of the final 16 for the Dear Moon project to go on SpaceX Starship to go around the moon. The whole program got canceled, but we're getting there. One day, one day, if someone wants to take me to space, One I'm ready. day zero gravity <laughs> will be reality for you. My last question before we go back to this. You're spending time in Abu Dhabi but you're also spending time in France, I believe. Yes. How do you balance all of it, Dr. Moore? Oh, uh, passion. So in Nice, I'm a ballet dancer with uh, the Ballet d'Opera de Nice. So I'm there, and then I'm also a professor, adjunct professor at NYU Abu Dhabi, teaching a creative robotics and tech class. Wow. So full-time professions on different continents. It, so, life gets busy. Before I let you go, of course, to perform yes. again for us, what's What's your day like? What time do you start? What time do you end, given that there's research? She's a professional ballet performer as well. And she's also teaching. I mean, it's like three humans in one, Dr. Moore. Oh, gosh. Every day is very different. That's for sure. I would say I split my time. I'm not a... I, I split my intensity. So right now I have a performance. I'm really focused on the performance. Right. Then I'll have an opening with Nice next week, and I'll be focused on the ballet, and the next week I'll be focused on my students. So it, it is a mix of... But I, I love what I do. So I guess I'm working oh, very long days, but it never feels like work, except my emails. <laughs> emails feel like work, but everything else feels great. <laughs> so that's when... Art and technology really come in sync. You get that focus that we we're just discussing. I'm going to leave you to it. I'm going to take that mic from you. We're going to have your performance once more. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Dr. Moore. Thank you.